everyone. Hey, it's Liv. I am so excited to record and film and show you guys this video today. I couldn't find many of Summit Hall. Um, you guys might just be watching this because it's a dorm tour 2020 video, um, or you might be watching it because I go to West Virginia University. I am a freshman and I am majoring in exercise physiology. It is the end of the first semester here as a freshman and um, I'm actually leaving in like two days for Thanksgiving break. So this dorm has definitely been lived in for a few months and I, you you know everything might look very very clean and I do like keeping a really clean room but it's definitely more organized than I usually keep it so with that said I hope you guys like this video um, if you want give it a thumbs up subscribe whatever else there will be a few more videos before the end of this year coming out and I'm trying to keep it consistent so with that said please enjoy this video and let's get into it okay guys I'm gonna try to be quiet but this is what the hallway looks like and each hallway Her side is my dresser. Okay, so here's the story behind this TV. It was originally way too big to obviously fit on this dresser because we didn't know the measurements and the TV was gifted to me as a present when I graduated. So uh, my roommate, Caitlin, her grandfather made this for us so we could go ahead and put this on and then put on the TV. So that took a little bit, but um, in these drawers, I just have my, um, like my underwear and sock drawer Here's my t-shirt drawer. I recently reorganized this, like some of the stuff is falling out, but this is like t-shirts. You have five drawers total to put all your stuff in. And the very bottom, I don't know if you guys saw one of my videos um, before this, but it is a snack drawer. And then you come over here, and then this is where we hang up our you know, shower caddies and everything. And we have, Caitlin brought these little hooks. Oh, also we keep the TV over here. <laughs> Usually plug it in right here. This is the bathroom. I will insert a clip of what that looks like right now. So you walk in and then you just have the toilet and then we put one of our trash cans in here and then they give you like cleaning supplies and such. Both people get a towel rack and then also this is the shower. But I mean, obviously it's not the cutest thing in the world, but <laughs> it is better than the community showers and they do get cleaned often. If you look down here, we have a trash can and we actually were given two when we first got here. So you guys do not need to bring around trash cans and we thought we did. And here I am. And then this is my side of the room right here. This is all my side and my area. So we have our sink and then that's Caitlin's side right there. And then this one's mine. In mine, I just keep my, you know, cleaning supplies and extra stuff here and there, like a rag for polishing and dusting and then my dish soaps for breeze and then like mouthwash and other rags. You come over here and we just have our soaps, toothbrush holder. Caitlin brought this because I honestly forgot about it before I got here. And this is our sink. Honestly, everyone's sink is kind of different. They look like this, but sometimes they're lower or they're wooden. So it doesn't look exactly like this all the time, but I mean, it's pretty close. <laughs> Keep my jewelry organizer. So I got that off of Urban Outfitters, but I'm not going to exactly tell where everything is from because I do have a uh, dorm haul video on my channel as well. But this is probably like one of my best investments because I got this strictly for the dorm. The, as we walk over here, we do have a recycling bin. I also keep my uh, towel on my rack too. It's kind of like a longer angle or a wider angle of my side of the room. So as you can see, I kind of went for more of a bohemian pink and lavender kind of vibe. I have like my mini fridge. The rest is kind of Caitlin's side right here, so I, I will try not to show it. But um, Caitlin brought a printer for us. We usually have to turn our assignments online though because I mean with COVID and everything is online. So we actually haven't really used this too much. Um, then we also have our coasters back here that we ended up really needing and we got after we moved in. And then I have like a box of tissues right here. And then we also have our water heater so this is really nice because we make a lot of teas 
And we also make ramen noodles in here and that's what we use this for. And this is really nice and it warms up really easily. This is Caitlin's as well. And then I brought the fridge here. Um, on here, I just like put some cute little magnets and then those are my best friends from home. I didn't feel like paying for the micro fridge because you could only rent it for one year. I thought it was almost as expensive as buying a old mini fridge and I could use this for a lot longer. So, um, but if you buy your own mini fridge, uh, as of now, you cannot bring a microwave too. So if I'm being honest, I just bought my friend's microwaves. <laughs> It is Thanksgiving break, so we do not have much in here, and it's mostly emptied out. And looking on this side of it, we have our Brita filter. We use this all the time, and by taking this out, if you guys look, it is still at 100%, and we use this all the time, and we have not had to change out the filter. And then you have a mini freezer right here. And then going through here, I will show you guys my bed and this area. So that is another really cute poster that I feel like just kind of makes this room. Over here, I have, this light is um, like this is magnetic and I didn't know, like realize it for a while. So I put my um, little pictures up there and instead of putting pictures of me with people, in order to, I guess it was just cuter, I took things from um, memories. This one right here, um, was actually taken after my first tour at West Virginia University and I took it on our way coming home and I was really sad to leave and I just loved it here so okay so here's an explanation of this pillow guys I did not think I was gonna need a pillow like this I usually hate them if I'm being completely honest and I was like you know what I'm not gonna get it so I didn't have that or this when I first moved in and just putting these two pillows against the wall my neck was killing me all the time I hated being right up against the wall it was not a fun time so I definitely would recommend getting a pillow like that or one of like the little arm pillows <laughs> I know it looks like I have a lot of blankets on here, but I just love blankets and I love layering things and I think it adds a little something to the bed. <laughs> in this first drawer, I have my, I don't know if you guys saw my move-in day video, but this is one of the things I was organizing. I have these three bowls from Target and I also have a few containers. I feel like these you don't necessarily need in the dorms, but they will be really nice for when I eventually have an apartment and if I ever want to take a snack on the go. So that's what these are all for. And then if you look deeper, my cups are right here and they just kind of fit in perfectly right there and I also have like my silverware that I love so much and that I I mean it's the perfect amount of silverware for me and when other people are over and need to you know borrow it when we're eating something in this second drawer I have even more silverware which honestly I was a little too prepared for having <laughs> a dorm and I'll have like little bowls as well and another little container back there but I actually do use them I promise I do and it is extremely helpful when more people are over and in this third drawer I have all of my hair products which I know sounds kind of weird because it doesn't go with these two but it is the most convenient I just have like hairspray my straightener my curling wand and then my hair dryers in here but I do love my blanket basket and when I don't have the ones up top here these are definitely in this blanket basket so I have this one which is my Gilmore Girls one my mom got me as a graduation present that I love and is really comfy and then I just have like this extra top sheet on my bed I was getting a little annoyed having to put it on it every day and fix it so I ended up putting it in here but then moving over I kept the plastic for that long pillow just so it wouldn't get dirty when I brought it back home and then in here is honestly just extra stuff from move-in day that I thought would be best kept here instead of at my house and honestly I lowered my bed because I just didn't see a point in having it any higher because I didn't want to use a step stool and I hated how like tall the other beds were so I lowered mine and I mean keep yours higher if you have a lot of under the bed storage but personally for me I didn't need to have I mean I don't have a lot of things under my bed so there was no real point I honestly probably would have lowered it if the three tier drawers weren't here <laughs> And then I have my little carry-on suitcase for whenever I go home for a few days and it's just a lot easier to keep it here. And I also have like my little mini trash can. Down here it can get a little messy just because it's where I keep all of my cords. But I did buy this one on move-in day just because I wanted to go ahead and see where I was putting everything before I bought any extension cords or outlets or anything. And then I actually reorganized my desk the other day because I got a little bored of how it looked 
and this lamp was on this side and kind of blocking the view of all the pretty lights. This minivan is really nice to have. I got mine off of Amazon. I love it so much. And then moving over here, here is a picture of my boyfriend. I won't go too in detail, but he does like write me cute little notes sometimes. And uh, we are doing long distance. He is from my hometown. So I have a little picture of him on my desk. And then here is, okay, so I promise it is not January, but I went ahead and changed it because I am leaving in a few days. I just thought I might as well. And then I have my MacBook right here and I love it so much. I usually just keep it on my desk because I get on it so often. And then this is just one of my little cups. I was drinking water earlier, so we're gonna ignore that. And then I have this, which I got from Urban Outfitters as well. And I just keep all my makeup brushes in it. It's the perfect height. Hi. <laughs> I have my impressions mirror, which I really like. And um, hitting that button, it lights up and you can brighten or dim the lights. And then over here, I have my alarm clock. Honestly, this isn't really an essential because you can use your phone, but if you're one to ignore your phone alarms or need to get up to turn it off and actually wake up, I would recommend it. I honestly use it more in the back for like charging my phone at night and my AirPods than anything else. I keep a blanket on my chair. I just find it a lot more comfortable and whenever I get cold, it's just easily accessible. And then over here, I have this pull-out drawer, which I think I might give you all a desk tour just because I planned everything and organized my all my desk drawers and everything. So I think I'm going to eventually give you guys a desk tour. But there are three drawers and this one is the biggest. I usually just keep textbooks and notebooks in this one if they're not in my backpack. And moving over to the window, I have a great view. You can't really see, you can kind of just see the reflection right now, but um, I'll try to insert a clip from another day of when I took, I just, I just love this view so much. It's my favorite. I just think it's beautiful, but you don't always get this view in Summit depending on what side of the building you're on. I do have my fairy lights that stretch across my tapestry, which I just feel like the tapestry makes this room. And I did clean off the walls just because they were gross when I first got here. And then going down, you do get these lines which are really nice but i think next semester we're gonna get a tension rod and curtains because the light does stream in in the morning and sometimes it is a little too bright to sleep so this ikea cart i love it so much on the top i have all of my coffee i was originally going to go ahead and get a keurig coffee maker but i was already gifted this and honestly it makes more coffee as well than just one k cup and it is a lot cheaper coming from a college student i have like half of this left and i drink coffee every single day and i still have a ton of this left that i bought before i even got here and then i keep my teas over here that i really like this one's probably my favorite one i've had it's the vanilla chai black tea from i think you can get it from kroger and then this is just full of like my snacks and little coffee things and i did get this from i think i got this from tj maxx for like five dollars and then moving down here, as you guys can see, I love mugs. I ended up tipping them upside down because I would have to rewash them all the time just because they get dust on them. The rooms do get really dusty easy, easily. And then in here, uh, Caitlin and I keep our sugar. I have like sugar cane and she has a different kind of sugar. So we keep ours in these little mason jars that I got when I was thrifting. And then that one is my... Um, little yeti tumbler and then that blue one's hers and i keep my water bottle in the back and then moving on down here i just have my granola and a few other like dehydrated fruits and snacks so this is kind of like my breakfast area i don't eat breakfast too often but i do keep my oatmeal my cinnamon salt and pepper and my spices and here here are the closets if i'm being completely honest these closets have so much storage they're super super nice i love them so much i keep my little macrame hanger on this side and i'm going to open it on here i honestly just don't get in the side super often we honestly have more storage than we know what to do with which is super super nice i keep my towels usually in this basket and then my clothes in this laundry basket and over here is where i keep my towels everyone stores theirs differently but i was gifted this hanger and so i just keep my towels and everything so you can see that it has like i have all my laundry stuff and then up here i have my purses and then my little <laughs> i have my winter hats up there as well and then you also get another shelf too but I just have a few extra bags and grocery bags up there that I honestly I just never really get on that top shelf this side I actually do 
use a lot and I'm always in this side of my closet. So this is just looking up and down. This is where I keep all of my most worn shoes and everything. And then I have my, obviously my winter and fall apparel is hung up. And then just a few of my t-shirts too. I organized this before I took a video of this. It's usually not this organized and neat, but for the video it is. And then looking up top, I love these little drawers. I keep um, like my little notepads and extra things up here and it's just really easy and accessible. Over here, I have like Q-tips and cotton pads and then I have um, like nail polish remover, extra shaving cream, extra hygiene, everything back there. And then I take one thing of um, vitamin E every single day. So I keep this up here and then I also get headaches pretty often. So I keep this up here as well. My lotion, my perfumes, and then going way up top, the only thing else I have left on that shelf is extra hangers and extra rock and tissues, my steamer, which I actually don't use super often like at all, but I thought it was a nice thing to have. And also I have my emergency kit up there as well that my aunt who is a nurse gifted to me whenever I first got to college. If you've watched this far, this is the end of the video. However, if you are interested in WBU and are wanting to specifically see Summit Hall, I am recording this voiceover to tell you all the reasons why I chose Summit Hall. Also, this voiceover is recorded over footage I've taken over my first semester in Morgantown, so you don't get too bored. <laughs> My senior year, I was extremely stressed and didn't want to research anything when it came to college just because it made me even more stressed. Once I sat down and wrote down all my options and really researched the campus and the residence halls, I knew I wanted to be in Summit. I was originally going to be in Bennett Tower because I thought Summit was full and registered for housing a little later than most people. I ended up getting into Summit and here are the reasons why I chose it. Summit Hall has laundry facilities, a dining hall, a fitness room, and it is on downtown campus. Not all dorms have a fitness room or a dining hall, however, the fitness room is shut down right now due to COVID. Uh, the dining hall is very convenient and usually Honors and Seneca will eat there if they don't go to the mountain layer instead. Summit is not only the second cheapest housing on downtown, but is also one of the nicest in my opinion at least. The biggest thing that sold me was not only the dining hall, but also the fact that you share a bathroom with just your roommate and suite mates instead of using a communal bathroom. And uh, WVU also has the room measurements and other essentials listed on their website, so I would really encourage looking up the small details like that so you know what suits you best. Uh, guys, like I understand that senior year can get really stressful with college things, but also try to enjoy the process because it is really exciting and new and you know you only get another experience like that one more time it's like entering middle school or high school and now this is kind of one of the last so you know enjoy it while it's still here uh, i will be uploading a wvu housing video soon that discusses other residence halls besides summit and hopefully you all will get more information from that as well i hope this video was helpful for you all and please don't hesitate to ask questions in the comments